All right, guys, how's it going? Um, <clears throat> I like to mow here. Just doing another little video to show you guys what I've been up to lately. Um, as you can see, I've got a lot of stuff dug up here right now. Um, and if you guys watching do any irrigation, let me know if you think this is a very good quality installation. When, what I'm about to show you here. Um, so basically. Um, Right here used to be a sprinkler. Um, it was just a shrub sprayer. Um, it was like a two, 180 degree nozzle or whatever. Um, just stood up right here. Uh, kind of like those. That one has a pop up on it. But um, used to stand up right here. But it's since been moved over to the garden fence. Um, it's a, with a threaded elbow and then. Um, screwed in down there and all glued up um, but there is I believe six pipes five or six pipes down here um, these two pipes here continue on and I'll explain why those are like that um, but these pipes down here all go to the other zones so back here, um, this pipe here goes over there. I moved this just half inch here. These are one inch. Now, when they installed this um, irrigation system in this yard, uh, they used Schedule 20 PVC, uh, one inch pipe for all the supply lines. Um, Schedule 20 is thin wall pipe versus schedule 40 which is what most pipe you'll see in Home Depot is schedule 40 schedule 40 is much thicker you can't put a shovel through schedule 40 as easily as schedule 20 so I was digging here originally just to move this uh, sprinkler that used to be here I was just gonna move this and then put it up over there for watering the garden uh, which I have done now but in the process of digging this up, I was digging the trench to run that over here, and my shovel went into the, uh, these pipes used to just run right through here, uh, that bottom pipe right down here, you can see it right down here also, uh, put my shovel through it, um, through the side and uh, cracked it so I'll add a picture in at the end a couple of pictures I have on my phone from it um, so I probably should have turned off the water before I was working through here but I didn't so it filled up this hole with water but I'll, I've got some pictures on my phone I'll put at the end of the video uh, but anyways I had to since so this is my question for you. Would you say that installing six or seven pipes into one trench is a quality installation? Leave your thoughts in the comments below the video. Um, personally, I would say try and like space it out so it's easier instead of stacking them all up like this. Because these two pipes here continue on. They were just extra zones, so they just stuck up over here at one point. Uh, just capped off. So we could add more zones later on if we wanted to. Um, but <clears throat> most of the time, we well, actually all the time, we just leave those two on. We just turn on the valve um, in, the, in the box. We have solenoid, electric solenoid valves. So we just turn the solenoid on and, um, and just leave it on because we have hose spigots. Um, and I'll show you more about that in here in a bit but um so i put my shovel through the bottom pipe so i had to cut out the top pipe to get to it because i couldn't just um patch it the way it was installed now if i was the one installing it i probably would not have done that uh but anyways so i cut out the top pipe and then cut out the bottom pipe to where it was broken um and then uh, made up these little elbow, these little patch things here with elbows, and they're all glued up. Um, 
I haven't pressure tested it yet. I was going to test it before I close up the hole just to make sure nothing leaks. Um, but yeah, I got all this patched up. Uh, didn't take too long, but then um, I, before I could do what I originally was planning on doing, which was just moving the sprinkler, I had to patch up all this stuff. So um, Yeah, this was one project here, this irrigation project here. Um, and the other thing that I was doing is down here. Uh, here's a hose spigot that I used to have standing right here. Um, I'll see if I can show you. Let me see if I can. Oh, yeah, here it is. All right, so uh, right here. So those two pipes that continue on this way come up to here. Uh, here's one of them right here. Um, this one runs, so it runs out here and then up into the backyard uh, for a another hose spigot and watering garden area and stuff. Um, so this hose spigot here used to be just coming right off the pipe. Um, you can see the elbow down there. And that used to just come up here. Uh, so I've moved it. I cut it off down there first. I uh, dug it all up, cut it off, and then left enough so I could put a new elbow on. Um, and move it over here. And then it's just a one inch coupler, three quarter, one inch bushing that nicks it down three quarter. And then it's three quarter up here to the hose spigot. Um, but uh, I've sim I've just done this so that the stand back here. But um, I've only done I moved it out of the way so that it would be much clearer through here, um, so we can walk through here easier. It used to be we didn't have the fence here, so we could walk through here. With no problem, but the hose spigot was close to the fence, so we couldn't walk through very easily, or bring a wheelbarrow through, or a wagon, or whatever it might be. So I've since moved it um, over to there. Then this poly line here, uh, this is half inch poly uh, with just a hose connection on the end. Um, this is buried and uh, goes under the fence here buried and runs through here uh, through there and then it's buried along here and it comes up in here and it's got sprayers and stuff in the garden here for irrigation like uh, there's one right there and there's some over there too uh, so anyways that's uh, now that this is moved uh, we can walk through here I just need to test this one also, but couldn't test this one before I covered it up until I patched all that stuff down there. Because um, I think it was this line here. Actually, yeah, it is this one. It was this hose spigot line that was the uh, broken one. Um, so. Yeah, all this is tidied up. Um, I just gotta test it, like I said, and then backfill all this and put all the mulch back. So, yeah, this has been my project for the last couple of days. Um, so I do another little video here for you guys since I haven't really done that many videos this season. So, hope you guys enjoy and definitely leave your opinions about that installation. I'm not super. Like, uh, I'm not super happy about how that was done. Personally, I would have done it better. I'm sure it was probably just to save time and not have to dig a bigger trench. Because, I mean, who wants to dig a bigger trench? I wouldn't, but I would have just spaced them out better instead of stacking like five or six, even seven pipes in one trench. But, anyways, uh, leave your opinions on this and let me know what you think. Uh, so anyways, I want to thank you guys for watching, and I'm going to be starting to record lawn care videos here soon. Um, 
I am on spring break this week, so I've gotten one call already. I've mowed one yard already, and then sorry about that. The battery died on the camera. I'll make this quick here, but I've already gotten one call for mowing, which I uh, mowed that yard, and then I'm uh, putting flyers out here soon. So, um, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I will see you hopefully later this week.